Good afternoon everyone and welcome to today's craft. We're going to be making mini felt out, so let's get to it. Okay, just so to start with, we're going to, if we're going to do as a sewing project, you're going to start by just threading your needle. So I'm using white thread because my colors are gray and white. Um, you can use a contrasting color, what have you. You just want a nice good length. And once you get to the length you want, you're going to snip the one end. And it's going to thread your needle. And once the thread is through the eye of the needle, you're going to get the one end of thread, match it to the other end, and you're going to tie a knot at the end. Just taking the two ends of thread, wrapping, looping it around. You want to make sure they meet pretty close. You want it to be as even as possible. You can always trim it down. You can knot it once or twice. Once you get it there, you're just going to wrap it around your finger. Make a loop and pull through. And once you have your knot, you're good. I sometimes do it two or three times just to give the knot a little bit more. Um, but that's up, like I said, up to you. Um, just make sure when you, if you're doing it multiple times, you want the knot in the same spot, which is why I'm doing it an extra time. All right, and there you have it. That's how you thread your needle. But this could also be a no sew project. It's very easy to make no sew. Um, in our craft bags, you do have your template. This is the body of the owl. And so I'm just cutting out my stencil. And what we're going to use is, the reason it says um, times two is because you're going to do in your fabric two of the main body of the owl. Because this is going to be a project that you could easily turn from just being a flat felt into a mini stuffed owl. You also have your wing templates and your eyes on the other sheet. We're going to start with the body and you're just going to trace it like so on whichever color. In the craft bags you have um, two colors and each color has two squares so it's up to you what color you want your body, uh, the main part of your owl to be. I'm going with the gray. And once you have those two, you're going to start with your wings. Once again, with the wings, you're going to be doing two. I cut both out and I'm going, just to give it a bit of contrast, I'm using the other color for the wings. So, so the wings stand out. So I have the white, so I'm just going to trace those two and then cut them out as well. With my wings cut out, I have them where I want them on the front. And I'm just going to do a basic stitch. You could also do this no sew, use um, regular glue, fabric glue, what have you, but I'm just going to sew. Basically, I'm just going to do a basic stitch. I'm just going to go up and then down, giving a little space in between the stitch and the stitches are going to show. You can't really see the white on the white, but see, I'm just going to go up and then down. There's a little gap, so it's basically just a traditional stitch and I'm going to do that all the way for both wings. And I'm only sewing the wings to that top layer. See so how I have the bottom layer waiting? Because I'm going to attach those at the end. So the bottom layer body is going to be at the end, but first I'm going to do the wings. Once the wings secure, I'm going to close. To close, I'm just going to pick a little piece of fabric up make a loop and pull my thread through. So I'm just going to pick, pull it through the loop, and that's how I close. I'm just going to duplicate this on the other side. With both wings secured to the, the top layer, I'm now going to stitch the bottom layer to the top layer. Now, instead of just doing an ordinary stitch how I did, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So through the top layer, the knot is I pulled my thread, but then I'm going to go through both layers making a loop, pulling my needle through that loop, and then giving it a little tug. This is to give it a little bit more security, especially if you're going to stuff it. Now, if you're not going to stuff it, you don't have to do it this way. You could just do an ordinary stitch all the way around it. But this is how I'm going to do it. Just give it a bit of security. So I'm going to go up through both at the same time, make a loop, pull my needle through, and I'm going to do this all the way. 
except I'm going to leave a bit of room at the top for the very end to stuff it. So I'm going to sew that part at the end, but all around the bottom and along the sides, I'm going to do this stitch. And just give a close up of the stitch I'm doing. See how I have both pieces of fabric. I make a loop. I, so the needle goes through both. I make a loop. I pull my needle through. And I just continue that. Keeping them fairly close together. There's a little bit of a space, but I'm trying to keep it as close together as possible and giving it a nice tug. And that's how I do the stitch. So now as I did the bottom and the sides, I'm just going to close off, pick the little piece of fabric, made my loop and pulled. So you just put the needle through a little piece of the fabric and pulled through. I'm going to close this out because I'm going to keep that top opening so that I could stuff my fabric in that top layer. Now, if you're not going to stuff it with your cotton or your polyfill, you could just go ahead and finish it off and stitch all the way around or glue all the way around. And in the craft bags, you also have your googly eyes. You can wait until the end to add these, but I'm actually gonna add them now. And if you wanted to add a little detail, what you could do is add a beak. It's a little triangle piece of fabric. And it's very easy to make that triangle piece of fabric. You just take the pre-cut squares I gave you and just cut a corner off about right there, less than probably even less than a half an inch, and then you have your beak. Okay, so once you get this sewed all the way around, and you see how I left that opening? It's because I'm going to fill this with some polyfill like stuffing. So it comes in a bag like this. Polyfill. There's all different brands you can use. And I'm just going to put some of that in this opening. Another way you can do this is also just um, get like cotton balls from the pharmacy. Here we go. Um, and you can use that. The only problem with using cotton balls is that it won't make it very um, durable as far as washing it. Because, um, but the polyfill will. You also don't have to stuff it. You could just continue to stitch all the way around um, and if you're not going to do stuff you don't have to do um, the types of stitch I did to seal it you could just do the regular stitch like how I did the wings and also if you're not a fan of the googly eyes you can always use buttons like I have these big wooden buttons they're pretty good they're about the size you would want these are about one inch buttons or so. Those are pretty good. You can use them for the eyes instead of the googly eyes um, if you're afraid of them falling off. But also with the template, you do have um, the eye and pupil template. You could use scraps or fabric to do those. I'll show you both um, examples of when I use buttons and the fabric at the end. But in the meantime, we're just going to get to stuffing our little owl. Right, and it's going to take about a handful of this fluffy stuff. I don't really measure beforehand. And just to get it started, I did already thread my needle and stick the stitch in so I could kind of sew it as I go. And then I'll seal it when it's completely done. So I'm just going to open the pocket. You don't want to overstuff it so that the stuffing is like all poking out. All right, so now I'm going to start. Now it's about, I could probably fit a little bit more in there, but I'm going to just start stitching on the side a little bit. I'm going to hold it in place as much as possible. Just before it gets too stuffed, I'm just going to stitch as I go. And you can wait until it's entirely stuffed to sew it up if you wanted to. Now, if you're using fabric glue, um, 
that might be a little bit trickier because you don't want the glue and the fluff to stick so you might not want to fill it up too much you want to make sure probably it's um, under the brim so you have a spot to glue it so that the fluff isn't sticking to you as you're doing it but it should work this one with the felt and everything the glue might take a bit of extra time to dry So I still have a little bit of room um, from stuffing, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Like I say, you don't want to overstuff it, but I'm just making sure I distribute the fluff everywhere, making sure I even get that top corner. And when I think that's good, which I think we're at now, because I don't, I'm just going to finish off sewing. I remember, I'm doing like a stitch, but then there, so going through and as I make that loop I'm going to put my thread like that and I'm just going to seal this off until it's all done and so what I did for a finishing touch was I tied the piece of yarn together made a loop and I took my thread and in the middle, I just did a few stitches to attach the yarn to the owl. Okay, oh, there we go. And I'll show you what I did. So basically I just put it in the middle, like so. Sorry, the camera sort of cut off at that beginning part, but basically I just sort of sewed directly onto the yarn. And then I also did a few of those sort of stitches where I looped and pulled. So I did that like three or four times just to attach to the middle. Like I said, you could glue the yarn to using hot glue if you're careful, or um, even fabric glue would stick with this. You could um, sew a keychain ring on there, whatever, but this is just to keep it if you wanted to attach it to a purse or a school bag, like that. And then what you're gonna do just to finish off, just like how you did before, I'm just gonna stick my needle through. I'm gonna do it on the back. You're just gonna grab a little piece on the fabric. Just going to pick it up like that so you get your loop and then pull. Now I do this about two or three times just to give a little extra security. I'm going to keep it as small and to the top as possible just so that like that. One more time. Okay, and with that being done, I'm just going to cut my thread and be good to go. And there you go, you have your owl, stuffed owl. I hope you enjoy this one. And here are some of the other examples I have. I did button eyes and also the, using the template, I made fabric eyes. I also added just a little heart that I just drew and cut out on those other two. Feel free to use this. You don't need to do the beak experiment. Try different things, whatever you like the look of. Also, you can experiment with the colors. It's really up to you on how you want your owl to look. I hope you enjoy this. And until next time, stay well. Goodbye.